This video is all about me helping you make a success of your YouTube channel and all the eight things that I'm going to list in this video are all things that worked for me personally as a small channel. It's going to work for you especially if you want to grow your YouTube channel organically and in the correct way. If you do enjoy this content or it does help you please consider giving us a like and subscribe it really does help our channel. So number one, the first thing that we're going to talk about today is the correct times in which to upload. If you're watching this video, you've probably seen videos on you should upload at this time, you should upload at that time. There is no actual set time for everyone universally in that. If you go and have a look at your demographics and your audience, for example, if they're from the United States of America and you, you are like me from South Africa, I've got to actually post this quite late at night, maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night, in order for them to hit that audience because that's their, their morning for them. If you look at the demographics and the audience inside your YouTube studio, not only will you notice the dark purple which is showing you what times that your um, viewers are actually watching your content a lot more, but it's also going to show you how long those purple, those dark purple bars are actually staying there for. So do you have more on a Sunday? Which means you should actually be posting at that time as well as a Sunday as well. Taking advice to say, oh you should post at 7 o'clock every single night. Um, no, if you are in America as well, you should be posting at a different time to get them in the mornings because that's going to be a lot more effective. Going on to number two, which is a big mistake that I was making quite a lot and not really realizing it and then only realizing it by seeing that a couple of my videos that went viral happened to have a very different thing attached to it and that was the file name that I originally exported. Now what happens is you upload a video to YouTube, it takes that file name and it actually puts it in a title. So even when you change your title, YouTube has already captured all of those keywords that you've put into your file name and it's going to try and find an audience for that. So when you change your title, try not to change it too much or even better, name the video the exact title name that you want to use for your video. And that will ensure that YouTube doesn't get confused, the algorithm doesn't get confused, it's going to find the correct audience. I want you guys to try this and let me know in the comments down below if this worked for you. It's something that I've noticed with my channel that makes a huge difference. So I'd love to hear from all of you regarding that. Step number three is a very important setting that I notice immediately if I forget to switch it on and I have done that many times and it's a very simple um, setting so it's called Creative Commons. After you upload your video and you're scrolling through where all of your keywords are, you're going to see a little tab there that says YouTube Standard License. Click on that and select on Creative Commons. What this does is it allows people to remix your content, it allows YouTube to share it with more platforms and it really helps with your viewership and your subscription. It's something that I've learned, I've burnt my fingers with by forgetting to put that on. And it's very important that you turn it on when you upload your videos. Turning it on afterwards is not going to have much of an effect. Step number four is probably the most simple thing and a lot of things that we all forget, including myself as well, again, and it completely messes things up. And this one setting causes YouTube to send out your great content to the wrong people. And that's great. They're going to click on your great thumbnail and they're not going to be interested in your content because it's been pushed out to the wrong people. And that's a simple thing by not putting your videos into the correct category. Now, what will happen is if you're doing a video on how to help YouTubers like this, this has to be in the how-to category. If you're putting this in an entertainment or fashion category, those people might not be interested in making YouTube videos. They may not have that interest on how do I make my channel bigger, how do I grow my YouTube channel, how do I get more views. It's the wrong category. So it's a very, very important to do these things. It's a very, very easy thing that we always forget. Um, but I've, I've proven this. I've made all these mistakes for you guys. So please, please, please make sure that you've selected the right category. If you're not sure exactly which category to put it into, do a bit of research and that will generally give you the correct idea with that. So on to step number five, which isn't talked about very often, and that is sharing your link to your video, which we all do. We create a video and we're all excited, we send it to our friends and family, we post it on Facebook, we send it on WhatsApp, and that's a huge mistake. Because what happens is, when you post a video, YouTube is trying to push your content out to a test audience to see if they're going to react, and if they do, it's gonna push it out to more, it's gonna know exactly who to post that video out to. But now, if somebody's clicking on a direct link to that video, what happens is it ruins your organic click-through rate. So yes, they're gonna be clicking on your video, you're gonna get a bit of watch time, but the YouTube algorithm is gonna get a little bit confused. It's gonna think to itself, hey, where are these clicks coming from? So if you must insist on sending out your, your videos, rather send out a link to your channel 
and tell those people to go into your channel and to rather click onto your video. That way you're going to get that organic click through. It's not going to ruin your algorithm. And that is something that's very detrimental to a lot of channels. I actually have made a video on this, a full video, um, which you can check out on my channel. But it is absolutely devastating what that can do in terms of organic reach. And once your organic reach is just ruined, it's very difficult to get your video to start peaking up again with the algorithm. Like your first chances are within the first 24 to 48 hours. So just do not send your direct link to anybody. I think that you'll see a huge improvement in your viewership, your subscribers and your watch time as well. So you need to be able to show them what you're going to be talking about. If you're just asking them in your first 30 seconds to, and you're starting off to subscribe, please uh, like my video, that's not going to help anyone. You're not showing them why they should stick around and watch your video. And that's very detrimental to your channel as well. If, for example, you say, hey, today I'm here to help you make a YouTube channel. Are you struggling with your YouTube channel? They already know what the subject's about. So if they are having a problem with their YouTube channel or anything that is related to that, they're going to sit down and watch it. But if you're talking for the first 30 seconds about nothing to do with that and you've made this fantastic video afterwards, you're going to, unfortunately, your video is going to tank. You're not going to get those views. Just something that is so simple. I've seen a lot of people talk about this. And I cannot emphasize enough how important your first 30 seconds of your video actually are. So now, yes, you can spend a long time in your video. You edited it for hours and all of that. It's proven by me you can sit down without a fancy light like this, um, without a microphone like this. And if you've got something interesting to tell, people are going to watch your video. But if you can't get them to watch that video, nobody's going to, you're not going to get that watch time, you're not going to get those views, you're not going to get those subscribers. So your thumbnail is your most important thing. So you need to spend a lot of time on your thumbnail, possibly more than your video, even if it's an hour or two, it sounds crazy. But things down to certain measurements in terms of proportion, how people are putting their pictures onto a certain thumbnail, whether they're putting a border around themselves, are they using a background, are they separating the background? So for example, if your story is all about a guy that fell into a pile of gold, your thumbnail needs to depict that. There needs to be a guy falling into a pot of gold. So they know when they click on that, they're going to see a video about that guy falling into a pot of gold. And that way people are also going to gain respect for your channel as well. They know it's not just clickbait. And the most important thing that can make or break your channel, and that is filming your video, overdoing editing and overthinking everything. So scripting and you know having to rely on a script all the time is usually not the best thing at all. If you've got something to tell, it should be in your head, you should be able to tell that story and that way it will come across very genuine to your audience and they'll also have that connection with you. No fancy lights like this, like I mentioned before, no microphones like this. Sit down, tell your story. If you're not sure exactly what story to tell, I know a lot of you are struggling, I'm, I'm frustrated, I, people are not watching my content, I keep watching videos, change your niche, all of that. Your idea is right in front of you. Your video is everything I just told you. Your struggles on YouTube, I'm not getting the views, I'm not doing that. How do I grow my channel? Make a video on that, let people watch that. There will be thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people that can relate to that and you'll be so surprised and you'll say, well I never thought that the video that was the least edited, that was the least thought about, would be my most successful, the one that went viral. And that's because you were genuine, you were telling a story that can relate to a whole lot of people. So my message here is don't give up. It's very demotivating when you're not getting the views, you're not getting the subscribers, you're not getting monetized. And um, I'm living proof that you can do it. You just have to not put too much thought into stuff. And of course, we're going to be making some more videos. If you guys have any ideas, any subjects you want me to touch on, if you want me to do a walkthrough video on how exactly to upload everything with screenshots and videos, more than happy to do that. Leave your comments down below. I will be answering all the comments and uh, hope that we can help you in the future. And again, if you did like this content, please consider giving us a like and subscribe and a comment down below. It really does help us gain traction. And until next time, take care of each other and be kind.